there was this satisfaction and accomplishment and no one will ever be able to take that away from me. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> Matthew Dixon says one of the first things he did following his bike ride across Canada was to contact the Canadian Museum of History to see if they would be interested in putting his bike on display. I'm curious to see what they'll say. They may not be interested in it, but they do take modern things. They've got video games in there and whatnot. So I'm curious to see what they'd think about that. Some people have told me, well, wouldn't you want to keep your bike? I'm like, well, I don't know. It'd be nice to have it uh, in the museum for others to see. And uh, yeah, I thought that'd be kind of neat. According to the government of Alberta, schizophrenia is a severe mental illness that can affect your ability to think clearly, manage your emotions, and interact with others. The Schizophrenia Society of Alberta provides help for people who are dealing with the illness, including right here in Lethbridge. Here at the Schizophrenia Society, we do uh, community education programs uh, in the community to raise that awareness. And, and uh, at those presentations, uh, two people living with schizophrenia tell, tell their personal stories of, of living with the illness. And it's, it's very moving. It's very impactful. And it goes a long way to reducing that stigma when people actually are, are able to meet someone that's, that's living with schizophrenia and doing well. Ah, it's a good shoulder here. Dixon told us that he has a couple of upcoming projects in the works to showcase his cross Canada trip to the public. I'm working on a book. I've mostly written the book from my daily Facebook posts along the, along the ride with photos that I took. And I'm in the process of getting that underway. And also a friend is helping me uh, make a film about the bike ride. And he says he can't guarantee his, the quality of it. He says, he, I may not like it, but he says, uh, hopefully we will enjoy it and want to enter it in film festivals. Bye, Matthew. See ya. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.